we want to prove that the variance of x minus y is equal variance of x plus variance of y minus two times covariance between x and y. In the previous video, I derived that variance of x plus z equal variance of x plus variance of z plus two times covariance of x and z. Actually, in the previous video, I used the variable y rather than z, but it does matter. The trick here is to replace z by minus y. And you do here and here as well. We copy this first term. This is what you want to derive. We also copy variance of x and the variance of minus y becomes variance of y. This happened because of this property that I proved in another video. If alpha is a scalar, alpha goes outside the square. Therefore, if alpha equal minus 1, alpha square becomes 1. In a similar way, this minus, negative, goes outside in the formula of covariance. In the formula of covariance, if you have scalars alpha and beta, both goes outside. We just assume here alpha equal 1 and beta equal minus 1. And then you get this term here. We derive this formula pretty fast because we use many properties that we saw in previous videos. Now, let's make assumption that x and y, they are independent. In this case, this covariance between x and y vanishes. And then we can write variance of x minus y equal variance of x plus variance of y. And this is equal variance of x plus y. For many people, this is a counterintuitive result that the variance of x minus y equal variance of x plus y, if x and y, they are independent.